right, so this has been long overdue. Finally, I'm back at it. We're building another pit bike track. Getting in Ryan's dozer right now. He just dropped it off yesterday. We uh, started on the big bike jump. We're gonna have a little kind of small loop for the big bikes. And then I'm working on the pit bike track over here. Start building some stuff, get stuff in place, stuff taken out, get some jumps laid out. Wait for Ryan to drop off the skids here later this week to finish all the stuff up. Two, three days in this thing to build something up, a rough little track and get to it in this thing, get to work. Start getting some jumps made up. gonna do is start on the big bike jump get familiar with this thing it's been a little while since I've ran a dozer so day two out here Ryan just dropped off his skid steer I didn't really feel much yesterday I was trying to get used to the dozer and get comfortable in that I got this little jump built up over here, this double, this bigger jump right here for the big bikes. And then over here, I'm working on the pit bike track. I got this step up built yesterday. I'm gonna shape it up with the skid steer, kind of peak it up, maybe add a little bit so you can clear up and over. It's gonna loop back around into some other stuff in here. Not really sure what I wanna do yet. Started out with so much grass and stuff mixed in. It's not the best dirt to use for this, but I'm making it work. I'm excited to try this. It's definitely, not big enough to clear up and over. Gonna try and do some new stuff, add some stuff like we've had from all our past pit bike tracks, and finally have somewhere to ride pit bikes again. Feels like two, three years ago building pit bike tracks like weekly. All right. Alright, I don't even know what day it is now, but a couple of days later, I kind of filmed a little bit in the skid steer, making a couple of these jumps up, but I haven't updated in a while because it's kind of a pain to get in and out of the skid, set up a tripod with the camera to get time lapses. It's a half track update right now. This freestyle ramp put in to a berm back here after this little section in the middle, which I already showed. Coming up to this step up. On the right side, we're having a little split section. Ryan wanted to do two different things into some berms into this jump. So we're doing like a double, double dragons back into, there's a bunch of rollers down there. It's gonna extend the whole way into an outside corner that comes together to a big uh, roller to kind of check up at the same time before you hit this step up. And it goes into this section. Then we gotta figure out what we wanna do in here to then re-loop back into here. It's gonna be a full track, probably one of the biggest tracks we've ever had. We're gonna get to it today, try and finish up most of this and hopefully be riding it in the end of this video. It's like day four or five at this point, a couple weeks later, Mike's over here in the dozer, making up this last section in the back, looping into the split section. Goal is to have a hip jump, couple more jumps after this into that section. It's all gonna loop together after this, once I piece it together with a skid and there's stuff put in this straightaway right here. And then try and finish this up today. I got my Suron back built up, doing some testing on the Suron too. So a couple hours out here and we'll have this thing finished up. All right, so now that I got pretty much 90% of the track finished up, we got the 110 out here, first ride on this thing. It's so clean, I almost don't wanna ride it. From the actual build video, I got it dialed in. It actually shifts now. Pop the cover off, realign everything, and it seems to be fine now. Cross my fingers, everything stays fine because I didn't bring tools. I got it running way better now that I tuned in on my phone, changed the limiter, changed the idle around a little bit. I have the bigger CGI throttle body and now an upgraded ECU. I can control everything from my phone, which I'll show you here in a minute. Get it warmed up and test it out on the track. I haven't ridden a 110 in so long, probably over a year now at this point. And on that note, are 110s even still cool? Do people still ride 110s or is it all e-bikes? Does everybody want a Suron now? I'm curious to see in the comments, would you rather have a 110 or a Suron or what do you currently still have or what do you still currently ride the most? Because I feel like Nobody really rides 110s anymore or posts videos on pit bikes anymore. I could be wrong, but let me know what you guys think. Of course, I've got my torque straps holding the bike down. Definitely the best dirt bike straps you can get right now. They got this torque down technology so your straps will never come undone. Keeps it locked in place so you don't gotta worry about it falling over in the truck or trailer. If you wanna check those out, I'll leave them linked below in the description. So jumping into the sponsor of today's video, Onyx Off-Road. If you don't know what Onyx Off-Road is, I've talked about it in numerous videos. You are missing out. 
if you want to find new places to ride this summer. If you don't have the luxury of having a pit bike track to ride, Onyx Off-Road is the app for you. So using their app, you can move around on the map and there's different pinpoints of different trails near you that I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen before. So you can zoom in and out on the map. If you're going on a road trip like I've talked about, you can hit a bunch of different trails. Once you actually get onto the app and you click a trail, you can swipe up and you can see a full description on what you can expect to ride. Pictures of the trails from people that have been there. And like I said, it allows you to find a bunch of new cool trails near you and have new places to ride, which I personally love. There's nothing better than finding a new place to ride. I know we all get burnout. I'm riding the same trails and going to the same places, and this is the best way to find it. So if you ride pit bikes, dirt bikes, side-by-sides, trucks, anything off-road, this is the app for you. You can check out Onyx Off-Road by clicking the top link in my description. You can get 20% off using my code. All the information is down below. And as always, thank you to Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring this video. I had mixed opinions on the white. Some people said to change it up all white. Some people said put black and black. But once I get the number plate on there, I think it'll kind of mesh a little bit better. The white's not gonna stay too clean for too long. Before I get ripping on this thing, I want to show you how easy this app is and how cool it is that I can go through and literally change everything on this thing. I know it's probably old news for a lot of people, but for me, I think it's pretty cool. So I can pretty much go into, I can set maps, but just to give you a little example. I have the RPM limit at 9600. It revs out pretty high. Or I can drag it down to say 59, 6000. And I can completely change the bike. I wouldn't leave it at that. But I can kind of change around with what I like. I'm going to leave it at 96 because that's how it came stuck. And I'm going to run it and have a baseline and then change it from there after today. So I can pretty much go through, do an auto tune, change the idle, do launch control, traction control, quick shift. I know I can do some backfire thing. It says it's locked. Upgrade ECU to unlock the function. And then I can just kind of monitor everything. It gives me live data right here. So if you want to check out CGR and get your pit bike upgraded, I'll leave them link below. Well, day two out here, the footage from yesterday on the GoPro looked like this. Super zoomed in and I couldn't use any of the footage. So it poured last night. The track is now muddy. I want to give you guys a full view on the layout before I probably change stuff around. Start on this little double right here. We don't technically have a start, like a starting line yet, but we kind of have a full loop put together. So we haven't fully decided what we want to do here. I'm thinking a big roller like a checkup roller after the berm into a bunch of like a six pack of whoops rollers you can double kind of like the split section which we'll get into into another checkup roller into the hip jump which definitely is not ooh, hittable right now it's so muddy over here we haven't been able to shape this up because it's rained for the past week still undecided after the hip jump if you guys have any recommendations on what we should add from our old track something that you have on your track post it in the comments and we might just build it to this split section which is double double or you can jump in and double double the whoops at this back side we could maybe make it three wide step on step off over here with something else at the end have these two sections go into the outside It'd be kind of cool and then into this big step up which we might peak up a little bit more but this jump is super fun in corner into this double into this tight berm which we got to push back into a double into the freestyle ramp back into the section where we started
like an ice skating rig right there. jump and then hit the rollers or the split section and have that be a little track. This is a lot of fun. So much mud before this, I really want to hit the ramp. I know I'm just going to get a bunch of wheel spins. Let's adjust this thing a little bit more, make it rev a little bit higher. I don't know how high I can put it before it's going to blow up. So we'll test it. It's at 96, we'll put it at 10,000. Sounds about right. Guess we'll run it at 10. See how that is. <laughs> Thought I was going down. Oh, I got a bunch of dirt in my chain. Uh oh. Packed with a bunch of dirt. I know I'm gonna head back to the house. Once again, it's about to pour on me. All right, that's a wrap. It's about to pour, so I'm gonna try and get back home, beat the rain. I'm so pumped, as you can tell, to have the 110 redialed in and we can finally get some more pit bike videos this summer. If you guys are excited and you wanna see more videos on the track and how this thing comes together in the next couple of weeks, make sure you're subscribed. Throw a like on this video if you're pumped for more moto pit bike content coming soon. If you want to see what's going down before I post the vlogs, I'm posting on my Snapchat again. I finally got it back after years of it being hacked. So I'll put it on the screen right here. My Instagram or build page, you can see everything going down. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.